question one five unbalanced coins were toasted hundred times and the number of the heads appearing was recorded in each time and this is the table so for example the heads didn't show in five tosses it shows one time in seven tosses and shows two times in 16 tosses and so on so based on the outcome of the hundred tosses which is this if the same five coins were toasted again 400 times it is expected to show two heads how many times it shows two heads 16 times when I tossed it 100 times. So when I tossed it 400 times, it will show 16 times 4. Because 400 is 100 times 4. So it will show 16 times 4 is um, 6, 4, 24, uh, 4, 4 down, 2 up, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. So it will show 64, uh, 2 heads. Question two, two balanced dice are rolled and the sum of the outcomes is from two to 12. Let X denote any of the outcomes. Okay, what is the value of X equal to four? X equal to four means the sum of the dice is four. Sum of the dice is four. It can happen if the dice is one and three. The first dice is one and the second dice is three. Or the first one is two and the second one is two. Or the first one is three and the second one is one. So I have three possible outcomes for the sum four the total tosses you have six numbers on the first dice and six number on the second dice so you have total 36 possible outcomes so to get the number four it is three out of the 36 after simplification it will be one over 12 what is the value p is greater than four it's easier for me to get the first four and then subtract so to get the sum of two it is only one and one so it is one over 36 to get the sum of three it is either one and two or two and one so it is two possibilities out of the 36 to get the number four we already calculated it is three over 36 so to get number one or two 2 or 3 or 4, the possibilities is 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6 over 36, which is uh, 1 over 6. So the possibility to get greater than 4, which is not this and not this and not this, 1 minus 1 over 6. So 1 is 6 over 6 minus 1 over 6, it will equal to 5 over 6. Question 3. When rolling two biased dice and observing the sum of the two numbers, it is from 2 to 12. And we already said it is 36 possibilities. Yeah, 36 answers you will get. The probability of obtaining a sum of 12 is 1 over 36. This is correct because only 12 will only come when the two, uh, when the two dice land on 6. The possibility of obtaining the sum of 11 is 2 over 36, which is 5 and 6 or 6 and 5. What is the value of k, the probability of obtaining a sum of 10 or less? 10 or less means every, all the possibilities minus these two. So all possibilities is 36 over 36 minus these two, which is 3 over 36. This will equal to um, 33 over 36. Uh, divide by 3 up and down, so it will be 11 over 12. So he wants the value of k over 12, so it, k is 11. A computer is programmed to pick a whole numbers from 1 to 100 inclusive. means I have the 1 and they have the 100, so total I have 100, uh, 100 outcomes. What is the probability that the next number the computer picks is a multiple of 30? Multiple of 30 means 60, 30, and 60, and 90. So only three numbers out of the 100. So the possibility I get a multiple of 30 is 3 over 100. 3 over 100 to two decimal places, it will be 0 0.03. Three marbles are picked in successions from a bag containing eight red. So I have eight red, I have nine green, and I have 11 blue. Consider the event E, at least two red marbles are picked. 
So the event E, two red marbles are picked. Which of the following is an outcome that belongs to an event that is mutually exclusive with E? Mutually exclusive with E means it does not contain E. So it does not contain two red. So this one contains two red, so it's a wrong answer. This one contains two red, so it's a wrong answer. The other three is containing here only one red, only one red, and here no red. So these are all correct. If he say exclusive, mutually inclusive so i have to select what is having at least two red but because he said exclusive i will select the options that does not have two r consider the experiment of rolling a black die and a white die record each outcome as x and y where x is the number of the black dice lands on and y is the number that the white dice lands on let a be the event the sum of the numbers on both face is five or more which of the following is an outcome in the complement of a complement of a means which is not a so a is that both faces on greater than or equal to five so i need all the events that is less than five so one and two is three that is less than five so this is correct three and one is four less than five two and two is four less than five three and three is six it is more than five three and two is five so it is also uh, a seven is the same question but here he's let he's telling that let a be the event the sum of the numbers on both face is four which of the following is true? 0 and 4 and 4 and 0 are impossible? No, because the dice starts from 1 to 6. So 0 is not is not even an, an input. 1 and 3, 3 and 1 are possible outcomes. This is correct. 2 and 2 is a possible outcome. Correct. 4 and 4, it is giving you, it is giving you 8, not 4. So he's talking about the sum. So 4 and 4 is wrong because it will give you the sum of 8, not 4. A is 1, 3, 2, and 2. This is wrong because he should also include 3 and 1. So 3 and 1 is missing in this uh, in this outcome. So this is also wrong. If he added here 3 and 1, it will be correct. Julian wants to pick one t-shirt and one pants. The collection that he have of the t-shirts is gray, white, and red. And the collection that he has for the pants is black and white. So select the three correct options. White and white is a possible outcome, correct. He can pick a white t-shirt and the white pants. RR, it's wrong because he only have red t-shirt but he doesn't have red pants. Six is a possible outcome of this experiment, no. Six is not a possible outcome. Six is the total number of the outcomes from this experiment, but it is not a possible outcome. It is the total number of outcomes. GW is a possible outcome, yes, gray and white, RB, red and black. So this is correct and this is correct.